Hello everyone and welcome back to Kevin on Cafe. My name is Isaac and we're back playing some Feed the Beast Monster for episode 51. And the last episode we made this pole over here to the Twilight Forest. Which has, uh, since the last episode, grown some trees around it actually. Which is uh, not the best, but we could probably get rid of these now actually. Yeah, we should have probably done that uh, as soon as we made it. But here it is, we've got our Twilight Forest portal. I'm not going to go in there uh, because that's not what I'm doing today. But we will go back there. We do have a boss to beat uh, that we still haven't beaten yet that we need to beat at some point. But uh, the reason that we sort of like cowered it out and backed away is because our armor is simply just not good enough. <laughs> if you look at our health bar, um, above it we have zero like armor points, if you will. And that's because we haven't installed really any armor on this thing whatsoever. And in the last episode, I kind of decided that I want to go and get some IC2 armor. Now you can see I've been looking at rubber here. If we go at Industrial Craft 2, we'll see the uh, Quantum Suit armor here, which requires uh, Nano Suit armor. Most of them require the Nano Suit version of them, the Lapatron crystals, some machine frames or advanced machine frames and stuff like that. Uh, glowstone and then Iridium Reinforced Plates, which are Iridium... Advanced Alloys and Diamonds. And then Iridium Ore is actually um, not possible to get, actually, at the moment in the IC2. Well, it is, and you'll see how we're going to do it in a minute. But uh, it's not possible to get in the way it used to be able to. Uh, you can't mine it. The ore's not mineable. It's, and you can't find it in the overworld anyway, that is. Um, you can't uh, make it with the UU Matter. At the moment, they don't have a recipe for it. I don't know if this was intentional or if it's just not ready yet. This is an experimental build of the new industrial craft. So I'm not 100% sure, but... The only way you can get it at the minute is it's pretty crazy. And in order to get enough things here, how many do we need? 1, 2, 3, 4, uh, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 times, what is it, 4? We need 40 Iridium ore. This is going to take a ridiculously long time to get. And it's going to take, well, it's not going to take too long because we're on a server. And between episodes, like a couple of days go by maybe. Um, or a couple of hours even, depending on how many videos I make. But it just it, things go by much faster. So it won't take too long, but it's going to take a lot of time, a lot of power, and maybe actually like uh, test our resources uh, quite a bit. Now, we have got a lot of resources, so we're not going to be like too pushed for stuff. Like if we look up iron, we've got almost 80,000 iron. So I don't think we're going to run out, but uh, I think it might push us. So we're going to need, what we need to do is we need to get ourselves one piece of iridium ore, which you can get in the nether. At the moment, you can get it in the nether, and you can also get it in uh, dungeon chests and occasionally in vill villager chests as well, I believe. They're like extremely rare. But you can get them in dungeon chests. Uh, you can also get them in the nether at the moment as well. In the nether wars, you can like, get Iridium ore, which is like also stupidly extremely rare. Um, luckily for me, if I go slash spawn, because we don't have a nether portal at the moment, but there is one at spawn. Luckily for me, I, I went to the nether and I thought, okay, I'm going to go spend like 12 hours now or something ridiculous trying to find some of this Iridium ore. But uh, when I got here, uh, I saw they changed a little bit. There's like uh, someone like they've been strip mining down here. And if you can see, I've got Iridium in big letters over there. And if we fly on over, I found a massive, what looks like where someone's put a quarry plus down. Because you can see here, this is where the quarry plus starts. And over there, almost 400 blocks away, there is uh, there is still this massive gaping quarry plus hole. So I kind of went like this. I kind of started over there and just sort of flew all the way around the sides like this. And just all the way around and tried to find any iridium ore that I could find. And if I type it in for you here, iridium ore, you can see it looks a lot like lead ore. It looks an awful lot like lead ore. And... As I said, the only way you can really get it is Nether Iridium Ore, which has come from the uh, Nether Ores mod. And if we fly around for a little bit, you'll see um, some of this stuff here, which kind of looks like it. You say, you're like, yeah, that could be it. That could be the same thing. Yeah, no, there's, there's a lot of this. This is all uh, lead. The only Iridium I managed to find was one piece all the way over here, uh, a whole 400 meters away from like where we started, which is ridiculously far away. I'm getting some really low frame rate here, actually. I'm not sure what that is. But uh, here we go. Iridium. 20 miles away, and it's this stuff here. Look at that. Looks pretty, looks exactly the same as the flipping lead. Jesus. Okay, uh, and now that we've flown all the way out here, I think I'm going to have to go back because... Um, oh, let me see if I can mine it with this. Oh, I can. Beautiful. Forget it. I'm doing it. It's mine. Can we, can we like, macerate this or something? Uh, no, it doesn't, like, it doesn't look like we can. We can use it in... Can we even smelt this? Do we have to go through Rotary Craft? If we do, that is going to be pretty average 9.38 units per... Oh, that's pretty cool if we can get, like, nine flipping stuff from it. But, jeez, if we... <laughs> okay, let's go slash home. Uh, I need some apples. Did that work? Oh, good, that worked. Okay. Uh, we're going to need some apples because I am very hungry. And I'm not being auto-fed. Apples. Oh, my God. What happened to all apples? Did we leave them all at the old base? I think we might have done. 
we are gonna have to head back to the old base because oh, I love that. I love the way it just feeds into me. Uh, because we uh, we're gonna need a lot of rubber. We're gonna need a heck of a lot of rubber. And in order to get that, we're gonna need to go back and get the um, tree farm stuff. So the plant of the harvester, the fertilizer, and isn't really necessary, but we can go get it anyway. Uh, over from the old base, bring it back and set it up again, but with uh, rubber trees from uh, Industrial Craft Two. And it's not the best way in the world of getting rubber. The best way is to like make tree taps and tap everything, but. Uh, you can get some rubber from just chopping the whole thing down. So I think we're going to do that just for like automation sake. So we can just sort of, like, leave it running, put a chunk load down. And then we'll come back in like a few episodes times. And we'll just have like a billion rubber in it. That'll be good and fine. Everyone will be happy. Yay. Okay, so uh, let me try smelting this. And hopefully the world doesn't implode. Um, really? That's... <laughs> really? That's not going to work? Are you going to... Are you going to make me use this with Rotary Craft? Um, what can we use these for? Okay, we can double them into Iridium Ingots, which can then be turned into the... Oh, Jesus. Okay, so... Wow, this is going to be quite a long arc here. So we've got... I've set out the task, and those who saw last episode will know. We want to get our... Uh, these, this power suit arm. We want to fight the wither. We want to get some Farmcraft Warded blocks. We want to get some XP farms going, get some har harvesting and stuff. I'll put a link in the description to last episode uh, where I lay out my whole plan. And I think it's going to be a pretty uh, far-reaching arc in terms of how many episodes it's going to take us. Because flipping heck, uh, we are going to cover quite a lot of mods here. So, um, scrap that. We're going for Rotary Craft now. And uh, the good thing is I've actually just like figured out, quote-unquote, how um, some of the uh, basic stuff in Rotary Craft works. Because I've been looking at it for uh, vaults. So, uh, let's have a look then. We can either use... It looks like we can either use a grinder or a extractor. Now, the downside is a grinder looks like it's only going to give us one. Maybe, I don't know. I know a grinder normally gives out three. If you put iron ore in there, it'll give you three iron, like, dust flake things. Not sure if it's the same with iridium. It could be, not too sure. This looks like it gives you... About nine, which is ridiculous, but I've no idea how this works I've tried to get this to work in like creative mode and stuff on other worlds And I just cannot get the extractor to work So what I think I'm gonna have to do is uh, is go with grinder But don't worry we can get more iridium and I'm gonna show you how we can make it once we've got the one piece uh, Using some really cool stuff from industrial craft that I've actually never heard of before. So uh, here we go grinder. Let's have a look the grinder This could be quite a nice change of pace. I don't really use uh, Rotary craft that much not factorization. We want this guy here so to get this guy, we're going to need the work table. We're going to need some HSLA steel ingots, some two saws, a HSLA steel gear, and some base panels. So let's get a work table first, because it, uh, unlike normal things, you can't work in the crafting table. You need a work table. Just got here from Rotary Craft, which is a crafting table, two HSLA steel ingots. Oh, is there any way to make those without... Oh, can we use normal steel? Do we have any normal steel? No, of course we don't. <laughs> Why would we have steel? That is just ridiculous. Okay. So we need two of these steel things, which can be made from molten steel. A uh, blast furnace. Okay, we're going to need a blast furnace. Okay, we got this. All right, blast furnace. Okay. Uh, I'll type in the full thing. Phone. So we need this guy, which is just stone bricks and redstone. So we should have some stone bricks lying about somewhere, I would hope. Yep, we do. Stone bricks, and let me just dump some of this stuff away, because we don't need half of this junk. Here we go, get rid of all this. We don't need the flux stuff really at the moment. Uh, I'll keep the focus pouch somewhere. Uh, the thermometer, not really. Uh, pickaxe, no. You, no, no, no. Uh, you can go away. I'll keep you there, that's fine. Okay, good stuff. All right, so let's, let's put the stone bricks away again. Let's make ourselves some, uh, well, one of these blast furnaces. So, like that. That is, like, the easiest recipe in the world. Uh, I'll just put it here for now. So, it looks like we need, what was it? Uh, sand, gunpowder, and coal. So, sand. Don't have any sand. It's fine. Gunpowder? Yeah, we got gunpowder. Okay. Gunpowder. Hopefully, one might be enough. And coal. Can we... Uh, let me have a look. Is there any other steel that we can use? Can we, like exchange steels here is that going to be a thing like can i make rail railcraft steel which i think is just like iron surrounded by coal might work nope <laughs> okay uh steel ingots maybe i think it's construct Cl clavier core can't make that one apparently e smasher no it looks like they all work the same though it looks like they all um 
in a whatever this is sort of like come back out to a steel ingot railcraft hsla steel it looks like we need hsla steel so it looks like we're gonna have to get quite a lot of sand quite a lot of gunpowder which does that have a recipe uh sulfur which is sort of my god sulfur clouds they're a pain to get uh you can find them in the nether but they're like you have to sit there and just go through everything forever okay so oh we did make some before didn't we sugar and oh, not sugar saltpeter uh two saltpeter sulfur and a charcoal dust okay we can do that we can do that. Okay, sand. Let's grab ourselves. Do you have anything here, actually? No. Let's grab ourselves some cobblestone, which we have a little bit of, but we've got more of at the other base. And if we pulverize cobblestone, we should get ourselves some sand, if I am not mistaken. So we'll see if that works. And it does good stuff. Let's take you. Let's run over here. Throw you in. You in and you in. And a bunch of iron. Iron like this. There we go. Throw you in here, and hopefully you won't take too long, to be honest. But you probably will. You probably take like a day. Uh, it's at 25 degrees now. Knowing my luck and knowing what we craft, it's probably not easy to do. The blast furnace is the main way to make steel. Simply supply carbon in the form of coal on the left, gunpowder at the bottom left, sand in the top left, and it will fill all of the middle slots with iron. Heat the machine to oh God, my God, 600 degrees Celsius. Jesus. Okay, so I think what we've got to do actually is that uh, it's put this above some lava. So, I'm going to be really sort of just like um, resource saving here. And I'm going to head on outside uh, with like, no, I'm not. I'm going to, well, I am going to, but I'm going to charge up my thing first. I'm going to head outside and just stick it over with some lava and hopefully that will heat it up. I know that does work for some rotary craft stuff, but not, I don't know if it works for this stuff, maybe. I know it'd be too easy just to put coal. That, that's not that easy though, really, putting... You gotta use up some coal, some sand, and some gunpowder. Unless they last like forever. Uh, and in which case it might be okay. But flipping heck, if it takes like one of each of those to make the steel, then that's pretty uh, pretty ridiculous to also have to have it like above lava or something. Uh, that'll do. That'll do. I just wanna be able to get down to not like die whilst I'm flying over the lava pools. Okay, so if we head on out here and just sort of do something like. Uh, I'll put it on this side. Something like this. It should hopefully start to... Hey, there we go. Okay, look, it's heating up. Now, hopefully we've got... Hopefully lava is, like, warm enough for it to get to optimal temperatures. Uh, one would hope. But I'm not 100% sure. So that's going to sit there and slowly crawl from, like, zero all the way up to a billion degrees. So sand coal... It puts it in the right place. Okay. So we're going to need a bunch more gunpowder in order for this to work. Also a bunch more sand and a bunch more coal. So... I think what we have to do is whilst that sort of just heats up and does whatever the flipping decade is going to do. Where does it put the oh, steel? It's going to go here. Okay. Uh, whilst it does that, let's go back to the old base. Actually, that's not going to do that because I don't think we have a way. Do we have a, a chunk loader line about somewhere? Let's have a look. We might have one either on the top floor. Uh, or did I put it away? I might have put it away. Uh, is it called a chunk loader? It is, isn't it? Um. Do, do, do. It's either on the top floor or on the bottom floor with the um, steam engine. So let's try that. Steam dynamos. Chug loader. Oh, yeah. Let's just, like, bump that out to, like, four chunks. <laughs> sure, Liz. I think that's big enough to keep the thing in. Uh, slash home. Uh, do, do, do. Yeah, that's fine. That's <laughs> more than fine. Okay. Uh, there's no one else on the server. It's fine. It's, uh, no one's going to get bothered by lag. Just me. Okay, so zero waypoints, old home, teleport to. Let's go back to the old base. Oh, gosh, yeah. Look at this. Look at the good, the ye old place. Oh, and I've been kicked off. Okay, so apparently the server didn't like that. It uh, just like actually closed down my whole game, which is uh, not the best. But, oh, look at the old place. We haven't been here in such a long time. Still got so much junk to bring over. Just like random stuff, tanks of lava. I think these guys are still pretty much all full. Um, yeah, they are they're still full of like random shiz with that I didn't really need too much. I mean, Jesus Christ, look at that. We uh, we upgraded the uh, Sfax texture pack not so long ago. Look at this. Oh, yeah, look at that. Beautiful. Uh, throw that back. Oh, my God, we've got so much uranium. What could, we could like make. Oh, I'm, mm, I'm debating because I don't know. We could we could turn most of it into uh, yellowite if we wanted to. That works. Uh, we could pulverize it all into yellowite and then just use it to feed the big reactor. So if we pulverize all this, we get twice as much yellowite, which is like flipping ridiculous. Um, so that is an option, but we could also use it to get some IC2 power because we are going to need an absolute shizwa ton of power. And I am not kidding. We are going to need so much flipping power, it's unreal. So I've completely forgot what we came here for. Cobblestone uh, is one of the things I came for. I know that because we need a lot of sand. 
Um, the other thing we're going to need is do, 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 do this guy out here. Uh, nothing's come of this yet, actually. It says you were chosen. We got this, like, when we were moving house, and I wrote the sign back saying, Why, thank you. I hope to hear from you soon. I had to collect my winnings. Uh, I was sure it was the lottery guys, but apparently not. They just haven't got back to me yet. So rude, you know. You know. So we've got one uh, rubber tree here, but not really too useful. So let's grab, say, you. Can we shift click these guys? Nope. Okay, we're going to have to uh, go old school on them and break them with the pickaxe. Thank you very much. Take you. Uh, I think we've got quite a lot of uh, conduits back at the base. I don't think we really need these hardened ones here. And we'll take... Oh, God, this thing's just going to spit stuff everywhere. Oh, my God. Did I get the one I needed? I did. Yep. I don't care for the rest of it. It can just sit there and despawn because, like, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> okay, so we've got that. We've got that. I don't even think we made a fertilizer, did we? No, we didn't. Okay. Uh, I don't think. No. Okay. So. Oh, look. It's uh, Isaac Jr. and Isaac's Destiny. Didn't even get around to doing what we're going to do with those guys. Oh, my God. People, we've got so much stuff to do. And we're already 51 episodes in. And, oh, my God. Okay. So, do, do, do I think that is pretty much... Um, all we're going to need. We could bring over the um, the power converter stuff under here, but I don't think I'm going to be using it. Uh, I think I'm going to start off and try to get a whole new um, industrial craft power source because even now, the one that we've got for um, our thermal expansion stuff isn't great. We don't have like a massive amount of power coming in at all times. And once we get this thing set up, it's going to drain a lot of power. So I'm, uh, I'm probably going to hold off on that. Might end up using that uranium. Not 100% sure. Uh, what I could do is just turn it onto yellow white and then just like use it in the big reactor and then use the power converters mod. But that's not fun. That's not fun. We've got to get some IC2 stuff going. So we've got all this. I think we've got everything we need. Now, hmm, where is the new base? The new base is over this way, maybe? Uh, yeah, it is. It's a million miles away. Now, I could try the teleport, but I don't want it to crash. I don't think it will crash. Let me try it because we've got a chunk loaded there. Cause I think, that, yeah, okay. Because the chunk was already loaded, I think it was fine with it. I think the old one just didn't like how fast we were loading into new chunks. Uh, how is this doing? How is this doing? Because this all keep got, uh, kept going. Oh, there we go. Look at that. 625. Uh, is that just going to sort of chill there now? So it looks like it used the core but didn't use anything else. If that's the case, then that's flipping awesome because we've got like over 100,000 coal. Uh, and I can just pump coal into that thing all day. Um, so if that's the case, that's all we need to get stuff, then I am 100% on board. Uh, we've got a bunch of iron on us. Let's do slash home because I am super lazy and I've probably just wasted more time there than it would have taken me to just use the elevator blocks. Okay, let's throw you in there. Let's throw you guys in here. And I'm hoping that this is just going to just use the coal. So it looks like it's stuck. It's like stuck at, at 625 degrees Celsius. So hopefully it's not going to explode because I know some rotary craft machines do explode when they get too hot. And hopefully, oh yeah, it's just using the coal. Oh, that is amazing. I love it. I love my new machine. Oh, yeah. Okay, so that is the start of that. What I think I'm going to do, and I might do off camera, I might not, I'm not too sure yet, is set up the rubber tree farm over here. Uh, of like, you can see I've carved out a little bit of a space. Uh, I was going to bring the old tree farm over, but it was like a bit laggy and stuff. And this one's probably going to be the same, but it's, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> so I'm planning on doing the same thing here. At the minute, there's nothing, uh, there's no like room underground. Uh, I didn't want it too close to the base, because like I said, it is a little bit laggy. It does cause my frame rate to drop just a little bit. So what I'll probably do is just sort of like put a chunk load over here, maybe. And uh, I'll probably take the one out of the castle. We don't really need one up there, to be honest. So I might just set up, like, um, a little rubber tree farm here that just puts stuff into barrels. I mean, we don't really need it in the system over there, do we? We can just come over, grab some rubber, and fly back, and we're all good. So I'm thinking about putting this stuff down here. So I'll probably just... Oh, did we not get the... Oh, shizzle. Okay. Harvester, it looks like we did not get the planter. So here we go. Fingers crossed. Teleport. Oh. Oh, well, okay, okay, right, let's see. We've got to go flipping rummage through this pile of junk down here until we find this flipping thing. Okay, um, hello? Oh, there it is. We'll just uh, sneak that guy and leave again. Uh, slash whom will work. Fly outside. Oh, my gosh, yeah, look at that. That was harmless. Okay, I love it. All right, uh, so this, I'm just going to put this here for now because I'm, I'm going to have to count this out. This is not in the right place either. Uh, I'm going to have to count this out. We've got, at the minute, gold upgrades on. But to be honest, we could probably go ahead and get some of like whatever the top tier is at the moment. I think it's emerald. Uh, if we go to upgrade, uh, do, 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 yeah, emerald upgrade. I think we could probably do that 11 over the uh, 7 that the gold does. Because if we go and have a look, I'm pretty sure we've got like a couple of hundred emeralds. So I don't really think it'd be too much of a deal. Let's go have a look. Do, do, do. Emeralds. Yeah, oh, Jesus Christ. We've got 1,341 emeralds. So that is uh, not a problem whatsoever. 
So uh, that's probably what I'm going to end up doing. I'll probably just make some emerald um, upgrades, which for those of you who don't know, emeralds, raw plastic, gold nugget, and redstone. Really easy. Two of those. Slap them in there. Uh, we could use... Actually, we could probably use some fertilizer. Let me test something real quick uh, before we get started because we're going to need a bunch of rubber. And I want to know if... If I type in saplings, grab myself a rubber tree sapling. Uh, we might as well dump all this stuff away because we don't need half of those. Uh, do, do, do you want to keep hold of that nether iridium ore? And do we have any fertilizer? We do. Now, we could use fertilizer because... As you may know already, we have 20,000 appetite, which is fucking ridiculous. So we press U on that, or if we just, like, look up, we press U on the recipe on fertilizer. Um, just, yeah. You can see that two sand and a piece of fertilizer gets, eight, and a piece of appetite gets eight fertilizer. So whatever eight times, like, 20,000 is, that's how much fertilizer we can get. And I know on some things, and I think it works on normal trees, you can get, uh, it works like as instant bone meal, so it just sort of grows one for one. I uh, don't know if it's changed, but I'm about to find out if it works on these kinds of trees. So, oh, really? That's tight. Okay. So, apparently it doesn't work on these kind of trees. Let me see if it works on normal kinds of trees. I think it does. I'm pretty sure it works on normal trees. Uh, hopefully, we can get a sapling from this guy. Maybe. Yeah, there we go. At least it used to anyway, I think. Oh, uh, so I took a few... But I don't think this guy even take them, did he? He doesn't even, like, accept them. No, it doesn't. Ah, oh, that's a shame. Can we use these for anything? Can we make, like, bone meal? No, we can't. Okay. So it looks like we kind of just have to wait for the IC2 trees to grow. So it might be a little slow at starting, uh, getting some bubble. But as you saw, we did a farm. We ended up with, like, 400,000 apples and wood and a billion saplings and loads of coal and stuff. So it was all well and good. Uh, so that's not too bad. We'll take you. Okay, so it looks like it uses the sand after a little while. <laughs> I've no idea what the logic is behind this. But uh, apparently it does use sand after a little bit. But uh, that's not too bad. We can make ourselves gunpowder. We can get, we can just pulverize this into two stacks of sands. No problem. Uh, so yeah, that's the plan. I think next episode, what we're going to do is, I think between next episode and this episode and next, I'll, uh, I'll set this up. I'll just put a barrel next to it that collects probably saplings. Actually, I'll, I'll, probably, I'll have saplings going down and getting pumped straight back into here. I'll have just a barrel that just collects um, wood and rubber. And then what I could do, actually is I could, if I leave both the chunk loaders going, I could just have a tesseract here that sort of like pumps the item straight from here out into a, up here. And then I could have a compressor that turns the, uh, is it a compressor? No, maybe an extractor. An extractor that turns the logs into um, rubber. And then I could just have a smeltery that turns, uh, oh, can you use a smeltery on? Hmm, let me have a look. I think you can use an extractor with um, normal stuff to get even more extractor. Yeah, so I'll probably just have an extractor. And I'll just send, like, if I go across here, it'll probably tell me that I can put wood in. Yeah, I'll just put wood and this stuff in an extractor and just get, like, a bunch of uh, a bunch of rubber that way. So I'll probably do that. I think we've got an extractor over the old base. Might move that over. Make a test rack. You don't need to see me make a test rack again. I'll do that. Uh, send it over to there and then start pumping straight into the AE system. And before you know it, we'll have tons of rubber and we'll be good to go. And then I will reveal my secret plan of, oh, my God, <laughs> of how to die in lava dramatically. Now, I'll reveal my secret plan on how we're going to get this iridium ore. Uh, because the minute we've only got one, and we need, like, a billion. So, thanks for watching. If you did enjoy the video, be sure to hit like. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.